Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, we will look at how to update and delete records from our database using the update and delete commands. Now, I'm putting both of these into one video because they are very similar concepts. Uh, now, before we update or delete any records in our database, it's usually a good idea to first run a select statement on the values so that we know that we're acting upon the correct data. Um, but first, let's look at an extremely simple example with this test table here uh, so that we can see what happens if we update or delete values without using a WHERE clause to filter which records we want. So if we look at this test table here, it's a very simple table that just has eight records in it, and all of the location values here are null. Uh, so let's update this to where all of the location values are set to the string unknown. So to do this, we can run the update statement. So I'm going to go over here to write my query, and I'm going to say update test table, and then I'm going to do set location equal to, and then the string unknown. So if I run this query, and then I go back over here to the table and reload the data, you can see that now all of the location values in the entire table have been set to unknown. Now the reason that it updated all of those values is because in our query we didn't have a WHERE clause, so it's just going to do all of the records. So now let's say that we want to delete all of the records from this table. So we can do this with the delete statement. And if we want to delete everything, then it's just as easy as doing a delete from test table. So if I run this, and then I go back over here to the content and reload the data, you can see that our table is completely empty. It deleted all of the records that we had. And again, the reason that it did that is because we don't have a WHERE clause here, so it's just going to go and delete everything. Now, more commonly, you're going to use these commands to update or delete specific records and not all of them at once. Um, so this is where I said that it's beneficial to first run a select statement uh, for the records that you want to update or delete. And that way you know what you're acting upon uh, is the correct data. So let's look at all of the records from this people table uh, by running the query select star from people. And if we run this, then we have all of our records back. So now let's say that this record right here, number 14, that we want to set Jane Smith's occupation from student to programmer. So first, let's write a select statement to grab that record so that we're sure that we're getting the correct one. So one select statement that could get that record, we could do a select from people where first name is equal to Jane and last name is equal to Smith. Now if I run this query, then you can see that we only get back the one result, which is good because that's the one that we want to update. Now we could have also done a where the ID is equal to 14 if we were worried about there being multiple Jane Smiths, um, but this is good for our purpose here. So now let's replace this select with our update and we're going to leave the where clause exactly like it is. So let's do an update people and then we will do set occupation equal to programmer. And let me capitalize this. So now if I run this query, and now it doesn't look like anything happened, but now if I do the select star from people again and run this query, you can see now if we look at Jane Smith down here at number 14, now her occupation is set to programmer. So now let me show you why it's important to run the select statement before updating or deleting records. So in this example, let's say that we want to delete all of the people with the occupation scientists who are younger than the age of 58. So let's let write a select statement uh, that we think will do this, uh, but we accidentally make a small mistake. So let's do select star from people where occupation is equal to scientist and let me fix this here and now when we do our age less than 58 let's accidentally type in or age less than 58 so notice when I run this query we get back a lot of results here and it's a lot more than we planned and it's because we meant to say that we wanted scientists 
uh, and their age is less than 58, not or. So now if we run it, then we can see that we only get one result. Now if I had run the delete statement with that bad where clause uh, without first running the check using the select statement, then I would have accidentally deleted all of those records that were returned with that first select statement that I didn't mean to delete. So now that we have selected this record and we know that we're acting upon the uh, correct data, then now if I want to delete this record, then I can just do a delete from people and I can leave the where clause exactly as it is. So now if I run this query and then do a select star from people and run this, if we look through all of this data, then we'll notice that the uh, Neil Tyson record that we had in there has been deleted and it no longer exists in our table. So that about does it for this video. Hopefully that cleared up some different ways in which you can use the update and delete statements. If you do have any questions, just ask in the comments section below. Uh, be sure to subscribe for future SQL videos and thank you all for watching.